This video will explain the structure of a URL. Don't know what a URL is? Well, first of all, URL is pronounced by its individual letters, and not like URL, unlike this guy. And they stand for Uniform Resource Locator. A URL is a unique string of characters that defines a location of a web page on the internet. In simpler terms, a URL is also known as a web address. In order to explain each part of a URL, we're going to dissect the Google Maps web address as an example. These random letters and symbols at the beginning is the protocol. It may not seem like much, but it's important, as it tells your computer to make a connection to a website server so that you can access the information stored within it. A server is a piece of hardware that stores information that you can access on the internet. Servers can be physically stored almost anywhere in the world, and the protocol helps your computer find the digital information stored there. Pretty cool, huh? The next part of the URL is the subdomain, which tells the server which part of the website you want to go to. You see, big websites like Google have different subsections, like Google Calendar, Shopping, Finance, and of course Gmail. Instead of going to google.com and trying to figure out where the specific section is, you can take a shortcut and go straight to Google Maps by typing in the subdomain URL instead. Google.com is the name of the domain, which is where you can access all of Google's servers, and is a specific location for you to find Google's information on the internet. Domains have to be purchased and are registered to a person, business, or organization. You can think of maps.google.com as trying to find something in a specific room in a house on a busy residential street, except the street is the internet and a house is a website domain like google.com and a specific room is the subdomain where, in this case, you can find all the maps you need. Understanding how URLs are built not only provides you with insight into how the internet works, but it gives you context as to where you are on a website when doing research and whether there is more information to explore and discover.